This week we'll be commemorating the 10th of Tevet, which is the anniversary of the day when Nebuchadnezzar began the siege of Yerushalayim. It lasted a long time. It was very difficult for the Jewish people and eventually led into Tisha B'Av. One of the interesting things about Asar B'Tevet is that it sometimes runs into Shabbat. For example, this year on Friday at Mincha time, We'll be praying the usual fast day prayers. We'll read the Torah, we'll say the Haftarah, and right away we'll start Kabbalat Shabbat. It'll be a very strange feeling for many of us, and it's, uh, it's rather unique. It happens every once in a while. So why does that happen on Asar B'tevet of all fasts? So one reason can be found in this week's Parsha. When Paro asks Yaakov how old he is, he says, Instead of giving a short answer of, I'm 130 years old, he says, the years of my dwelling are 130, few and terrible were the years of my life. So there seems to be a distinction between years of life and the years of dwelling. So what's the difference between dwelling and living? So Rav Shlomo Volba tells us that dwelling is physically existing, whereas living is living your fullest life. We live our fullest life when we focus on what's important. So bringing us back to the question of why Asar B'tevet is a unique day, the Khatam Sofer writes that there are other fast days that override Shabbat. For example, fasting for a bad dream, or fasting, for, as we know, on Yom Kippur. What do all these things have in common? What do these three fast days have in common? They're all about the future. They're about not having bad dreams. They're about being forgiven on Yom Kippur for the next year. Asar B'tevet happens to be the day that Hashem decides whether we get the next Tisha B'Av as a fast day or not. So it's a fast about the future. It's a fast about focusing on what's important. So we can fast on Erev Shabbat this year, knowing that Shabbat will be a time when we can sit down and focus on our future, focus on what's important in life, and live our lives to the fullest. Have a Shabbat Shalom. If you've enjoyed these videos and have gained some Torah from them, I ask that you remember that Young Israel of San Diego is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We rely on your donations to help continue to spread our message. Please help us with our mission, inspiring as many Jewish people as possible. Thank you and take care.